The Home Circuit Court will know on September 22 whether or not Roshane Barnett, the man who pleaded guilty to butchering his cousin and her four children last month, will receive the death penalty. Moments after he pleaded guilty to five counts of murder in the Home Circuit Court this afternoon, Prosecutor Andrea Martin Swaby told presiding judge Justice Leighton Pusey that the Director of Public Prosecution, Paula Llewellyn, will accept his guilty plea. But it is now up to Justice Pusey to make that determination based on the facts before the court and other things. Now, Raquel Porter covered today's proceedings and now joins us live. Raquel. Thanks, Herman. Well, the court got further insight into circumstances which led to the killing. Prosecutor Andrea Martin Swaby said days before Barnett killed 31-year-old Kamisha Wright and her four children, he felt disrespected. According to, Kamisha, according to him, Kamisha Wright, who is his cousin, was upset that he served a customer who came to the premises. I must point out Herman that he lived with them. She told, the, she told him not to serve customers, grab the cash from his hand, and splash water in his face. Since that incident, he said she, sorry, he said since that incident, Miss Wright's attitude towards him and her children changed. He said the children also distanced themselves from him. The court also heard that on Monday, June 20, at approximately midnight, Miss Wright asked him to lock up. He told her that a car was outside. She looked and didn't see anything. She became suspicious. He said he was unable to see what Miss Wright reached for on her dresser, but he believed it was a scissors. That's when he started stabbing her with the knife. Two of the children rushed to their mother's rescue, but he also stabbed them with the knife, the eldest child and the baby. After butchering the family, he ran from the premises and discarded his shorts and knife. His belongings were found in nearby bushes and identified by another cousin who saw him with the knife prior to the incident. Now, now Raquel, as these details were being read in court, uh, can you tell us what was the reaction, Barnett's reaction to this? Well, Herman, he appeared subdued. I also want to add quickly that Justice Pusey ordered a social inquiry report and an antecedent report into his background. All right, thank you very much, Raquel Porter, there covering the latest in that case. And of course, we'll continue to track it. Now, a family member and neighbors of the deceased mother and four children reacted to the latest developments in the case.